All right, we're going to check out a TrackMate data system, uh, how we've installed a couple of them. We're going to look at the, uh, the software that you can actually look at the data on right after this. All right, we got the track meet. We're gonna unbox it. This is the box that comes in. Open it up. So there's lots of stuff in here. There's a Mobius camera. Here's another Mobius camera. The system's going to have front and rear. Here's the TrackMate module. Here's the Track Dash. And this is probably all the cables. I see the USB for the, uh, the software race render software and a track studio. All right, let's open these up. All right, we got everything laid out here out of their packages. This is the package that has the wiring in it. Here's the USB cables for the track dash, the GPS antenna. This is the wire that goes from the uh, unit to the track dash. Here's the software power cable. This is the adapter we use that plugs into the track dash right there. And this blue wire is your TAC input. So you can have uh, you register your RPMs. There's shift lights up here. You can program it to whatever RPM, you, RPM that you want. So this is the track dash. The USB card goes in there. The uh, wire for the cameras go in there. This is the on-off power switch. This is the unit itself. You see it's very, very easy. Plug and play. Power wires here auxiliary input that we're talking about for this for the tack wire that plugs in there the GPS antenna and this side the communication cable which is just this cable right here that plugs in to from the track mate to the track dash very simple all right this is how the Mobius camera comes bagged up we got two of them we're gonna run front and rear this is the camera out of that bag. So this is the camera all by itself. I like to run these for the reason is there's no batteries. There's nothing to mess around with. You don't get in the car, the thing's dead. doesn't record, blah, 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 blah. You don't have to do nothing. You take the, the, the SD card in and out to download your video. It's the mount for it. Here's another mount that comes with it. That's the holder for whatever mount you use. Two cables, a short one and a long one. Another great thing about using the system is these cameras turn on and off with the system. So after you do a session, you just click the system off, camera shuts off, everything's logged, it's time stamped so when you're uh, downloading it into the into your program you can uh, see what kind of timestamps on it and you can drag them to whatever data session you're looking for so that's it all right on this particular car 
You can see we got the track dash installed. Well, track dash installed in the center console. So it's not in your direct line of view, but it, it works well. You can see the lap times and so forth. And we have the unit installed right here on, on the channel. And it has to face forward for the accelerometers to work. And we have the cameras mounted right here on the roll bar. I like the track dash in the camera view. So when you're actually driving on the track, um, it's filming what's going on in front of you. It has a little bit of yourself in the picture and it has the track dash. So while you're uh, watching the video playback, you actually have whatever's on the track dash uh, information is right in the video so you know you can see your lap times if you're fore or aft on your uh, fastest lap time for that session that's how i have mine set up and uh you don't have to rely on the data afterwards so uh the data afterwards is always nice to check out because you can look at your apex speeds where you were breaking uh yada 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 but you know just for basic video viewing this gives you a lot of a lot of information that you don't have to uh, look up elsewhere all right here's another example of where to mount the track meet this one's got a stand right off the dash and it's uh, I don't like it up that high but some people want it right in their view and that's a good place if that's where you want it All right, this is the track studio. I just opened it up. You know, I get a lot of times, I read on the forums, you know, uh, you're cheating, your car's faster than mine, so you must be cheating, blah, 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 blah. It goes on and on and on and on and on. But So now I'm going to show you how I cheat. It's by actually looking at my sessions on uh, with the data and improving myself as a driver because, you know, the only way you win in a lot of these momentum classes is you got to really drive to the limits. And the only way to know the limits is, is through data. So let's check out some data. It's real simple to operate. You know, it was one click uh, that opens up the track mate. Uh, and now we're going to open up the session folder, which is right here. And here's some laps that I had. Actually, it's uh, all the laps I've ever done in the spec boxster. And you can see it. Let me zoom in. And it goes all the way. I got Watkins Glen, Monticello, Summit Point, Thunderbolt. So what we're going to do is just click on a Thunderbolt lap. So this was a, a session. Hit OK. No, we don't want to copy it. All right, then it brings up, let's zoom back out. Brings up a window, shows the track, has a start finish line in it. And now we want to tell it to do what we want to look at. So we're going to click on the setup button. And we're going to click on velocity versus distance. And over here we can choose this right now has all so we can choose the fastest lap uh, well they call it the best uh, we could do a theoretical best lap which it has as well but what we'll do for this is we'll just choose the best lap for now hit ok and a second window pops up and it has a graph it shows you where on the track all right you notice all right in here these are all segments the track is segmentized so it'll tell you you can just look at the data for in between each one of these segments you can add segments you can move these around and make it closer to the corners um, I usually add a bunch of segments 
and all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit right down here zoom in there is a a play move forward stop function so we're going to hit play and you can see the line going across the data right here let's pause that you can also see there's a little blue dot here. It's a picture of the car on the track. And it's going around and it's telling me what my speed is for whatever part of the track I'm on. So this is very important because you need to know what your apex speed is. You need to know when you're throwing out the anchor on the brakes. You need to know what the slowest you were going through that turn was. Um, for, for reference for going through the turn as fast as you can because if you lose five mile an hour through here you're gonna go five mile an hour less up here all right now let's move on let's add another lap to this lap so we can do a comparison And right now it just added everything in there. So we're going to go in here, do that, and then we're just going to choose one lap. So let's choose something slower so we can really see the mistakes. All right. Okay. All right. So now we have a side by side comparison of uh, two different laps. So we'll click on here on here all right the faster lap is in blue and you can and a slower lap is in red and you can see already at turn one on this track that I was going 49 miles an hour through turn one versus 70 so that's 21 miles an hour difference and you can see how it got carried right through turn two which is segment two right here it just happens to be that way and it goes on and on and on and on and on so so you want to know how we're cheating here it is this is it in a nutshell you need to if you want to improve yourself as a driver you need to get some kind of data system you need to master it and you need to look at it so you can stare at videos till you're blue in the face that's not going to help you. This is going to help you. All right, if you want any more information than that, uh, they give seminars on all these systems, the TrackMate, the AIM, the, uh, what else we use, RaceKeeper, MoTeC. It goes on and on, and of course, they're all different. They all use different software. They all use different things to... Uh, get the software some have software and uh, or have track data and video combined on one us or uh, one data card uh, the track mate you need to have your SD data cards for the track mate system and the cameras are all separate so you know it's something to, to combine all that that's not really that hard once you learn how to do it but more importantly you need to look at the data so until next time don't forget to like share subscribe check out provostmotorsports.com provost motorsports on facebook and see you on the track